Chapter 5, Information You Need to Know to Enjoy Success Facebook is very serious about serving its users with a community that's tailored to them, not advertisers. While it welcomes advertisements and is happy to help businesses flourish, it does have its own unique set of rules about how ads should be put together, the pages they lead to, and so on. To enjoy success and approval of your Facebook ads, you have to understand the rules and follow them to the letter. Facebook is not unwilling to ban accounts, nor is it shy about turning down advertisements that don't fit its criteria. About Facebook's Rules Facebook has a long list of rules that apply to advertisements that are placed on its site. From requiring all ads to use proper grammar and spelling, to demanding that landing pages truly relate to the ads placed on the site, the requirements are lengthy. To enjoy advertising success on this site and be welcomed back for more business, you do have to understand and play by the rules. While it is an extremely good idea for advertisers to completely read the ad guidelines that Facebook spells out, there are a few very important rules you need to know about and comply with to obtain ad approval. The rules that can impact your campaign's chances of acceptance include Destination URLs. The landing pages advertisers use can get their ads turned down just as quickly, if not more so, than the wording on the ads themselves. To comply with Facebook regulations, URLs listed in the body of the ad must link to that stated domain. Ads must also send users to that landing page, and it must contain information that is relevant to the copy in the ad. Facebook does not tolerate misleading ads, so it's important to carefully word content for accuracy. Accuracy. Facebook is also serious about not tolerating pop-up, under, or over ads on landing pages. Mouse trapping and fake closing pages are also not allowed. Landing pages may only request personally identifiable information from users if the page is intended to enable an actual purchase transaction. References to Facebook Facebook is very picky on how its name and images are used in ads. While application advertisers can say, now on Facebook, a retailer cannot give any indication that a product is endorsed by Facebook. There are a number of other results that pertain to the use of the Facebook name in ads and landing pages. It's best to read them thoroughly to ensure compliance if it's in your intent to mention Facebook in your direct campaign. Copy Ad copy that is misleading, unclear, or includes unsubstantiated claims will not be approved by Facebook. The wording and images used cannot threaten, insult, or harass users, and autoplay ads are barred from the site unless they enable a user's interaction to get them started. Facebook is also insistent on the proper use of language in ads. Prohibited Content Facebook does ban a number of different ad types based on their content. The first red flag is any advertising that might be construed as false, misleading, or deceptive. In addition to that, Facebook does prohibit ads that feature profanity, libelous comments, tobacco products, firearms, or weapons of any kind, scams, hate speech, and more. Targeting inappropriate audiences Facebook does not allow alcohol advertising, for example, that targets people in particular countries that are younger than the legal drinking age. Advertisements about contraceptives and other related topics can only target the 18 and up crowd. If your campaigns will involve potentially questionable materials, take the time to read up on what's allowed and what's banned from the site. It can save you a lot of time spinning your wheels. Tips to meet standards in order for you to tap into the potential success Facebook ads can deliver your business, you have to know how to make sure your ads fit the bill and will make it through Facebook screening standards for placement. To help ensure your ads do meet Facebook's requirements, be sure to take the time to read all the requirements. While Facebook does have a lot of fine print, taking the time to read it all and understand what is and isn't allowed can save you a lot of frustration down the road. This cannot be stressed enough. All of the requirements are clearly listed in the Facebook advertising section. Carefully study your landing page. Generally, advertisers create their landing pages long before they put together ad campaigns. Take a look at what you have in place and make sure it meets Facebook's criteria. Also, be sure to use it to guide your ad copywriting. We'll discuss the landing page itself shortly. 
Keep your wording straightforward. Don't try to blow your advertising copy out with false or misleading claims. Say who you are, what you do, and why users should click through and check out your product or service. Keep it simple and focused, and your ad should make it through approval quickly. Be mindful of grammar. Facebook is serious about proper use of language in its ads. Make sure your ads, spelling, spacing, and sentence structure would please an English teacher. Also, be mindful of capitalization rules. Facebook frowns on free, all capitalized offers, but it loves free products. Symbols. Don't try to get cute with the use of symbols in ads. Customers might be able to save money by shopping with you, but if they save, starting save with a dollar sign money, your ad won't make it. Take care with targeting information. Do be very careful as you select your desired target audience that the ad copy is relevant and acceptable for the demographics you're seeking to reach. Try to sell contraceptives to 15-year-olds and your ad is just not going to make it. Double check account information. Once you have your ad ready to go, make sure you take your time filling out the rest of the forms. Improper payment and account information can hold up your ads and have you going back to square one. While what you place in your Facebook ads is important, what's on your landing page can be even more so. Aside from meeting Facebook's requirements, your ultimate return on investment will hinge on how well you handle incoming traffic and close sales deals. Landing page advice. As important as your Facebook ad copy is, your landing page might be even more so. How well it's put together can impact your ability to gain advertising approval on this site. It can also greatly impact your ability to close sales. If you haven't taken the latter into account, it won't matter how much traffic you gain from Facebook, you still won't make any sales. Meeting Facebook landing page requirements. Again, it is imperative that you take the time and fully read and understand what Facebook allows and what it doesn't. The more informed you are, the more likely it is your page will gain approval. If you haven't made a landing page yet, or even if you have, make sure it clearly relates to your desired ad copy. Your Facebook ads should be an extension or a teaser for your landing page. If you plan on having an ad that talks about children's shoes for sale, make sure the landing page features children's shoes. Don't try to get too creative or too cutesy with the ads or the landing pages. Keep them relevant to each other. Is completely free of pop-ups. Ideally, you want a clean landing page that sells your product, not someone else's advertising. Take the time to remove rollover, pop, and pop under ads if they're in place on your landing page. If you don't want to do this, create a whole new landing page specifically for your Facebook ads. Use appropriate graphics. Remember, Facebook is paying attention to its advertisers' landing pages very closely. Since it wants ads that enhance user experience and don't violate policies, make sure your landing page adheres to the rules the site would place on its ads. Is clear in its intent. Just as your ad needs to clearly define its purpose, your landing page should too. This is better for your Facebook approval chances and also for helping close your own sales. Remember, all the traffic in the world won't make you money. You still have to sell your product or service. While your landing page will have to meet Facebook standards for your ad to gain acceptance, you also want to make sure your page performs to actually close your deals as well. You can do both. Closing the deal. It won't matter how great your Facebook ad is or how well it drives traffic to your landing page if that page isn't set up to perform. Ultimately, the success or failure of any of your advertising efforts hinges on your landing page, your products, and your ability to close the deal. It doesn't matter whether you simply want people to sign up for a newsletter or you're trying to sell a product. You have to make visitors want to react accordingly. Here are some tips that can help you close your deal while keeping Facebook's requirements in mind. Think eye-pleasing. While it's your words that will sell, your graphics need to support your message. Steer clear of landing pages that are loaded with impossible to focus on colors and lots of busy images. Create a page that is clean, attractive, and easy on the eyes, and your visitors are likely to stick around and read a little more. Use images that sell. If you're shooting to sell products, make sure your landing page includes very clear, very attractive images of those products. A picture really can be worth a thousand words. Select wording with care. 
Just as the words you choose for your Facebook ad copy matter immensely, so do the words you opt to use on your landing page. Pick words that are strong, focused, and are highly relevant to your topic. Keep your message simple and straightforward. Be very cautious about making false claims. Not only can this hurt you with Facebook, but it can damage your credibility and impact your chances to close deals. Don't blind your viewers. So many landing pages on the internet fail to use good common sense in their designs. They use all capital letters and tons of text to sell something that can be achieved with a few paragraphs instead. Take care to avoid blinding your viewers and don't oversell them with a ton of hype. Make conversions easy. Don't be afraid to make it easy on visitors to make a purchase, sign up for a newsletter, or take whatever action it is you desire. Be sure to put signups, sales links, and other important tools in very visible places. Now that you're up to speed on Facebook's quirks and the importance of your landing page, it's time to get down to the nuts and bolts of crafting a killer ad. Chapter 6. The Anatomy of a Facebook Ad Facebook's ads are a little different than text-based banners offered in other locations. Since they don't have to be keyword rich per se, advertisers have a little more freedom. On the flip side, they do limit the wording rather tightly. This means ad copy needs to be written with economy and power of words in mind. To help you create ads that will draw people in and entice them to like what is being offered, let's tear apart the standard Facebook ad from top to bottom starting with the headline. Headlines reel them in. Ask any newspaper journalist and they'll tell you the most important part of the story is the headline. If it isn't clear, catchy, and designed to entice, readers will just move on to the next one. To create a Facebook ad that truly reels viewers in and gets them reading more and even clicking, you have to start with your heading. Facebook limits headlines to a grand total of 25 characters. This number includes the spaces, so economy is an absolute must here. There are some tricks you can use to help you with your headline writing, however, and they include pre-plan your headlines. One of the best ways to come up with options that work is to just open up a Word document on your computer and play around with different title options. Use the word count feature to check the amount of characters used. This is a whole lot easier and less stressful than trying to craft a headline while in the Facebook ad creation screen. Grab a thesaurus. When the words you want to use are too long or just aren't precise enough, start looking for synonyms. Chances are you'll be able to find a better and shorter way of saying what you need to if you stick with the effort. Think simple. With only 25 characters to work with, you're not going to have a whole lot of space to be overly creative. Instead, opt for simple, straightforward headlines that actually tell viewers what they need to know. Consider questions. Since Facebook ads aren't keyword dependent per se, copywriters are free to do things a little differently. Rather than a newspaper type headline, consider asking a question. Use words that sell. Try working important defining words that sell in your headlines. Free, discount, act now, and so on catch attention and get people to act. Be declarative. Use headlines to start the selling process. Short declarative phrases can work extremely well. Image is everything. As important as your headline happens to be, the graphic you choose can be even more important. If you don't have an image to go with your Facebook ad, you can still see results. Images, however, increase your chances of capturing viewer attention. If the picture is perfect or close to it, the image just might help you gain clicks and conversions. So how can you be sure to select an image that really captures attention and gets people to pay attention and even click on your ad? Follow these fairly simple rules for selecting an image that can get you noticed. Use professional images of your products. If you're selling a product, get a professional image made that casts it in a positive light. If you can't afford a true photographer, take a picture yourself using a digital camera. We'll go into some tips on how to shoot for advertising a little later. Select a relevant mugshot. If your ad relates to a person or something that could be readily identified with a portrait, make sure the shot is relevant, clear, and uncluttered. Pictures of people go over very well on Facebook because of the site's overall social focus. Go with clear pictures. Facebook doesn't allot a ton of space for advertising images, so do be sure your image is crystal clear. Opt for plenty of color. 
The more colorful your ad image happens to be, the more likely it is to draw viewers' eyes. This can help you gain interest and conversions. Keep it free of clutter. Let's say you're selling a child's toy. Using a photo of a single child playing with a toy is a good idea. Opting for a tiny photo with 10 kids all playing with toys will make the image hard to focus on and it can cause your message to lose its meaning. Remember the image is a sales tool too. Select pictures that really send your message home. If you're promoting a political candidate, a headshot with a flag in the background might go over very well. A picture of that candidate five minutes after waking in the morning might not. Use your images to sell and select them with this in mind. Tips on taking your own shots. If you really want to use an image with your Facebook ad, these tips can help you shoot your own. While professional photography is never a bad idea, a good digital camera and a little patience can help you land just the right image to sell your product or service. To facilitate a photo shoot, try using these tips when shooting. Crop closely. Use a digital camera's zooming features to crop in as closely to your target as possible. Unless you're selling a beach vacation and want a panoramic, the closer you are to the subject, the better. Don't be afraid to move in close for portraits and take the time to see your shots before you shoot them. Remove obstructions. One of the hallmarks that distinguishes a pro from an amateur with a camera are the obstructions that are often found in amateur shots. Take the time to really look at the setting and make sure that any unwanted items are out of the way. If shooting outside, for example, make sure trees or lamp posts aren't growing out of subjects' heads. Watch lighting. Shooting indoors with a decent digital generally requires nothing more than the camera's built-in flash. If you're shooting outdoors in sunlight, put your back to the light. This will flood your subject with natural lighting and produce a better picture. For outdoor shots at night, experiment with different camera settings to garner the best results. Shoot lots of photos. The beauty of digital photography is the fact that once the camera is purchased, the costs are nil. Just shoot your desired subject a number of times and don't worry about developing costs. Try different angles, different camera settings, and different lighting schemes. Stage product shots with care. To self-produce a winning product shot, carefully examine the item in question. Use a background that helps the product stand out. If one isn't available, make a backdrop using a solid colored sheet or towel draped artistically over a table or chair. Be choosy. Review all of your images with care. If you don't like any you've shot, go back to the drawing board. Remember, with digital photography, you can literally shoot hundreds of photos without cause for financial concern. Keep Facebook rules in mind. Just like landing pages and ad copy, images have to meet Facebook's requirements. Be sure they do so by ensuring they're relevant to the ad in question and not offensive or racy. Go for clarity. Ideally, the photo you choose will be very crisp and clear. Reject any images that are blurry or too cluttered. Once you have an image you like, just upload it to your desktop on your computer. Facebook will enable you to select it during the ad creation process. Sell them with copy. Your advertising copy is where your call to action should be if it's not in your headline. If you really want to get viewers to click through to your landing page, this copy really needs to sell. Facebook again limits what you can say. In this case, you have 135 characters, including spaces, to work with. Here are some tips to make those 135 characters really count. Brainstorm your main message. Identify the goals of your advertising campaign and make sure your copy highlights an appropriate call to action. If it's your intent to help a candidate get elected, tell people why this person makes the best choice or lead them to a landing page that will. Use an off-site program to practice. Again, the character limitation can prove to be a challenge. To make things easier on yourself, use a program like Microsoft Word to come up with practice text for your ad. Shoot for a few different variations if you're trying to target multiple demographics with split campaigns. Use short, declarative sentences. Make your message clear, precise, and to the point. To get John Doe elected, try something like, John Doe is Tampa's choice for mayor. Find out why he can make the difference in November. Ask questions and provide the answer. If you're selling a product that might solve a viewer's problems, ask a question related to the issue. For example, got acne? Product X stops it in its tracks. Find out how this new formula beats even T-zone breakouts fast. 
Use strong words. Try to make sure the words selected are the strongest possible ones that fit. For example, Judge Jane Doe is tough on criminals might not have the impact that Judge Jane Doe has sentenced 5,000 felons to life might have. Seek out synonyms. If a desired word isn't precise enough or it uses too many characters, put your hands on a thesaurus and seek out more appropriate synonyms. Keep Facebook's policies in mind. Remember, Facebook is really tough about ad copy. Keep the grammar and spelling correct. Don't mislead or overhype anything you're trying to sell. Forget the cute symbols and by all means do not go crazy with capital letters. Review the rules if you need to as you write copy. Read your copy aloud. This is a great way to make sure what you have to say makes sense, is easy to read, and sounds right to the ears and mind. If the wording is hard to digest, go back to the drawing board. Don't forget your call to action. Whether you place your call to action in your copy or in your headline, just make sure it's there. Your overall ad should compel visitors to click through and fill out a form, buy a product, or learn more about an important organization, candidate, issue, or so on. Creating a killer ad can help your Facebook campaign results soar. If you've taken the time to really make sure your ad copy sings and your landing page sells, you should experience the results you're after. There are more tips that can benefit you as you work on writing your ad copy. Short of hiring a pro to do the job, they can help you make the most of Facebook's economy of space. The truth is, you don't have to hire an ad expert to gain traction on Facebook. You just need to be willing to sit down and think out your plan, write basic but compelling copy, and follow some basic submission instructions. Chapter 7. 8 Ad Writing Tips Writing for the advertising world is a completely different ballgame than drafting a letter to a friend, writing a report for work, or creating a descriptive piece for a journal. Ad writing is so specialized, in fact, that copywriting is its own profession. Even if you don't have the money to hire an advertising firm to handle your copy, you can still write ads that sell on Facebook. You just need to have a little patience and be willing to learn through trial and error. The truth is, even seasoned advertising specialists have had to go through a few mistakes to really make Facebook ads pay off. There are some very good ad writing tricks that can help you perfect your ads to gain the traffic and conversions you're after. We'll cover eight of the best and we'll also offer some advice on tweaking your ads for maximum effectiveness. Make sure your words fit the target. It is imperative that you know your target audience and craft your words accordingly. This includes not only in the Facebook ad settings, but your words as well. If you want to reach people and get them to respond to your ads, you have to speak their language, so to say. As you draft every single word in your Facebook ad, make sure you keep the target audience in mind. Using pop culture references and slang from the early 2000s might work well with a certain demographic, but it likely won't go over well with baby boomers. If you are writing Facebook ads to appeal to different cultures and or subcultures, keep that in mind as well. Selling golf supplies to American enthusiasts might call for an entirely different use of jargon than would fly for advertisements targeting British citizens. If you're unsure of how to select the right words for the audience, look at how others have pulled this off. Pay attention to the ads that appear on your Facebook pages and the word choice they use to reach your particular demographic. Should you really want your ads to target very different demographics, consider running two separate campaigns. This can help you ensure that each ad works for its intended audience. Be choosy about your words. Take the time to choose every word you use with care. Make sure each word is strong and clearly defines your message. If your ad targets a general audience, steer clear of slang or generational terms that might miss the mark with certain viewing segments. The more time you spend selecting your words, the more likely it is you will end up with short, punchy copy that will meet Facebook's standards. Pick words and phrases that grab attention. Opt for words and phrases that really catch the eye. Words like sale, free, cheap, discover, and so on can all work exceptionally well. Questions, as we've already discussed, offer a fair amount of power as well. The right questions can raise a viewer's curiosity and make them stop and take pause. Sell the benefits your product has to offer. 
If your product does something amazing, cutting edge, or new, make sure your ad copy reflects that. Tell people what you really have to offer and they will take notice. If you're selling a weight loss plan that helps people lose 10 pounds in two weeks, say that. Should you happen to have a product that stops a baby's teething pain, capitalize on the serenity it can provide. Be honest. Facebook expects advertisers to be truthful about their claims. Take the time to make sure every claim is supportable and accurate. When you are honest with your advertising on Facebook, you'll gain a few benefits that can boost your ad placement and your return on investment. They include credibility. Steer clear of outlandish claims and you'll gain a reputation for being a Facebook advertiser that means what is said. This can boost your viewers' opinions of you and your products and will make Facebook more likely to value your business. Fans. Remember back when we were discussing how Facebook determines auction winners? Gaining fans for your ads can prove to be almost as important as your bidding amounts. When your ads are compelling, truthful, and straightforward, you are more likely to gain fans along with that credibility. Pay extra attention to your headlines. As we've already discussed, headlines are the most important part of any ad. If you don't capture viewer attention with these, chances are you won't see the results you're after. To write headlines that really pull them in, try using different ideas in a multi-ad campaign. Pick your most favorite headlines and try each one out for size. Stick with the ones that pull in the best results. Asking questions. Very simple questions that appeal to users of certain types of products or services can work very well for getting attention. Since Facebook offers more freedom on this front, this type of headline can work very well. Inspiring action. Ask questions, hard sell, and entice readers to really take action. Don't be afraid to be bold and outgoing. Just steer clear of misleading lines. Go with punchy lines. Short and sweet is important on Facebook. Punchy, clever headlines can get reader attention very well. Be concise. Facebook ads demand copywriters to be very clear and straight to the point. Avoid extraneous words and shoot for the fastest, most clear way to say something. For example, an ad that reads, Diamond rings for $100 or less in our auctions would serve purposes better than an ad that reads, Enjoy amazing savings through our online auctions. You can get diamond rings for a real steal. The first example uses few words, explains the product, the pricing, and what kind of venue is being advertised. The second takes much more time to read and doesn't define amazing savings. Consider segmenting your ads. There are certain sales pitches that work better for men than for women, even on the same products or services. If you're selling shaving gear for men, for example, you'd likely want to target men with the benefits of your products. To target women, you might want to tout the gift value of your products or how much more kissable they can make a man's face. Chapter 8. Split Testing Your Ads Once you've selected your ad copy, chosen your image, and figured out your target audience, it can be very helpful to consider running multiple ads at the same time to really gauge what works and what doesn't. To truly enjoy the benefits of split testing, you'll only want to make minor tweaks to a second advertisement. Start out a split test by creating your first or main ad. Make sure it has a killer headline. Ensure the image is nice and clear. Tweak the ad copy until it sings. Now create the exact same ad a second time, but change out one variable. The points to consider changing include the headline. Reword this slightly to see if a different word order or choice produces better results. The image. Consider running one ad with a person in it and another that just advertises the product in question. The copy. Switch out a few words to make the ad stand apart from the original. You can technically split test your Facebook ad with multiple variations on your main ad at once. If budgeting is a big concern, try the main ad versus a secondary ad and then track results. 
Stick with the ad that produces the most traffic, or if neither perform well, go back to the drawing board. Remember to only make minor variations to the ad to gain the best data for what might need to be changed to see results. Split testing isn't the same as creating two completely separate ads for different demographics. It simply helps you determine what works best for the same target group. It is okay and often recommended to make different ad campaigns for different demographical targets. These can be split tested as well. A word about patience. Advertising in any arena is not an exact science. Even the big boys on Madison Avenue have chalked up more than a few errors to their credit through the years. To get the greatest benefit out of Facebook ads, you have to be willing to experiment and discover what combination of words, images, and demographics really work for your products. As you test run different ads, make sure you focus in on the differences in the copy or images and focus on keeping the factors that seem to really work. Also, pay attention to how your ads go over with different demographics. While you might think your toddler toys would appeal to parents, you may find grandparents are the better target to produce clicks and eventual sales. Learn from your mistakes to improve your strategies and your results. Remember as you test ads that your conversions are also tied to your landing page. If your ads are getting clicks but you're not seeing sales, this could be your problem. Consider making changes not to your ads in this case, but to your landing page. Maybe you need stronger, more action-oriented language. Perhaps you've buried the real information inside a bunch of sales copy. Have you made it easy for visitors to the landing page to actually buy? If you have problems in these areas, fix your landing page and then gauge your results. Chances are you'll see more conversions as you tweak your landing page and gear it more toward the desired actions you want visitors to take. Chapter 9. Choose your bids with care. Facebook offers two different ways for advertisers to purchase ads. They can opt to go with a cost per click or CPC payment structure or go with a pay for impressions or CPM structure. Both offer their advantages, but do require your diligence to determine what is best to fit within your personal budget. About CPM bidding. When you select CPM advertising through Facebook, you'll pay a set price for every 1,000 times your ad appears on pages. CPM bidding is a solid way to get an ad out to a large amount of people rather quickly. When you're paying only a few cents for a 1,000 impressions, this form of Facebook advertising can quickly help establish your product or service as a known name. It, however, cannot guarantee a click-through rate that will provide the desired conversions. Although there are no guaranteed click-throughs with this form of Facebook advertising, a $50 a day budget can earn you 162,000 impressions if your bid rate is set at 31 cents. That's a great deal of exposure very quickly and it can turn into conversions if your ad is compelling, captures attention, and really calls people to action. The benefits of CPM advertising on Facebook include low purchase costs. Based on the above example, it's easy to see that CPM advertising is an affordable way to really gain a lot of exposure. Do be mindful of the fact that Facebook doesn't have to guarantee a single click-through to earn your money, however. All it needs to do is show your ad on the set number of pages a day. How users react or respond will be entirely up to you. Fantastic exposure. CPM advertising is often used to establish brand name or really start generating a buzz about a product. When an ad goes out 162,000 times a day, it's hard for people not to take notice. Excellent for focused niches. CPM advertising often pays off more for those with highly focused target audiences. When the exposure rate is high and the product is targeted to the right audience, a click-through rate can be rather high based on the volume of viewers. CPM works so well for unusual niches because there generally isn't a lot of competition and interested viewers are likely to act when they spot something that appeals to their hobbies or needs. About CPC bidding. CPC advertising is the most commonly used by advertisers on Facebook. This form of ad only costs money when the desired result occurs, a person clicks through to the landing page. CPC advertising can have a number of benefits for advertisers that make it an attractive option. They include 
The costs are related to positive action. CPC advertising produces results or advertisers don't pay. This is a nice satisfaction guarantee that makes advertisers happy. Those results, however, don't have to include sales, only clicks. Easy budgeting options. CPC ads are fairly easy to budget for. Advertisers simply set the bid or range they're willing to pay to gain an impression and successful click-through. Estimating your costs. How much does it really take to make Facebook ads pay off? It really comes down to your goals and your budget. While Facebook recommends at least $50 a day investment, many advertisers have done extremely well for much less. To gain a pretty good idea of your costs per click or impression, just pay attention to the screen when you set your budget and bid parameters. Facebook will calculate your estimated expenses for you. Keep in mind that auctions are often won for much less than the stated bid cap. This means you might get more mileage out of your investment. Ultimately on Facebook, you are able to set your budget and your cost limits. Facebook will not go over your set daily budget no matter what. While this can be a double-edged sword, it can help you contain your overall expenses well. Setting bidding ranges. It doesn't matter which type of advertising you choose, you'll need to set bidding ranges to establish what you're willing to pay. While Facebook automatically recommends certain ranges and adjusts based on the actual cost of an auction win, many advertisers report fantastic results by setting their bids much lower. To select a bid range to start out with, consider Facebook's suggestion, but also pay close attention to your budget. Compare the bid amount versus the amount of impressions you're trying to gain or the amount of click-throughs. Adjust down or up accordingly. If you are not gaining the results you are after with a lower bid range, consider adjusting the rate and testing the ads again. Balance this against other tweaking efforts on your ads. Tips for keeping your costs lower. Even if you are working with an extremely limited budget, Facebook can still work for you. If shoestring best describes what you're able to spend, you can try these tricks for keeping your exposure high but your expenses low. Limit your number of ads. While you might gain better overall results from multiple ads, you can still do well with an ad or two. Just take the time to carefully track results and make necessary edits to maximize an ad's effectiveness. Go with lower daily budget amounts. Facebook does enable daily budget amounts of as little as a dollar. While this won't gain you a whole lot of exposure, setting limits in a more comfortable range can still provide you with the results you need. Consider selecting impression-based advertising. Facebook does enable advertisers to buy ads based on the cost of 1,000 impressions. This is a great way to gain a ton of exposure quickly and cost-effectively. It might not necessarily produce the conversions you're after, but it will get your product, brand, or service out there. Lower your bid amount. Just because Facebook recommends a bid amount of 75 cents doesn't mean you have to bite. Adjust your willing price down if you must to keep costs under control. Many advertisers have done very well using bids that are much lower than Facebook's suggested price. Facebook does make it very easy for advertisers to set a budget and work within it. Take advantage of this when you're planning campaigns. While you might not always gain the results you're after by trying to keep a budget super tight, you are likely to be surprised with the return on investment you get for even a low initial investment. Chapter 10, Tracking Your Success You've set your ads into action, selected your bid price, and are considered good to go. Now what? Now is the time to track your advertising success and see if the results are fitting in with your goals. Facebook provides you with a number of tools you can use in conjunction with your own website's tracking tools to see how ads are doing. About the Ad Manager Facebook provides all advertisers with access to their own ad manager. This is a special page that offers all of the reporting statistics you should need to determine what ads are working, which ones need to go, and which ones could benefit from some tweaking. The ad manager offers a number of statistics that can help you make informed decisions about your campaign or multiple campaigns. They include campaign names. Since many advertisers run multiple campaigns, Facebook breaks out the statistics based on the campaign name you provide during the ad creation process. This makes it very easy for you to match multiple ads with the proper stats. 
Status. Since not all of your campaigns are likely to be active at once, this sort field enables you to quickly scan through those you're paying for at the moment. Last update date. This can help you better track multiple ads, editing efforts, and the length of time flights have run unchanged. Budget amounts. These figures represent what you have set per campaign for your daily budget amount. Clicks. This lets you track the exact number of clicks a particular ad has generated. You can use this number in conjunction with your website's tracking tools to determine the actual sales or conversion rate. Impressions. If you want to see how many times your ad or ads have appeared on Facebook pages, this is the figure to look for. CTR percentage. This calculates the amount of times people have successfully clicked versus the number of impressions. This is one of the most important figures to pay attention to. It can help you gauge if an ad is really performing well or is falling flat. Average CPC. This breaks out how much each click has cost you on average. Spent. Find out exactly how much a campaign has cost you to date with this field. Stat ranges. Under the Lifetime Stats tab, you can scroll down to track ads based on their overall performance, how they've done over the past day, week, and so on. Using stats to make your ads produce. Generating solid results with any advertising campaign can take a little time and patience. Still, there comes a time when it might be necessary to make adjustments to a campaign to really see results. Facebook does enable you to edit ads that are in the system to gain better results. If your ads are not performing as you would like, some of the things to consider tweaking include the headlines. Again, the headline might be the most important part of your ad. If it's turning out not to be strong enough, change it. Once you do, track your results over a few days' time. If they aren't getting better, look at other areas that could stand improvement. The image. Does your chosen image really catch the eye? Does it help sell your product? If not, select another picture and run with it on another trial. The body copy. If you're not making the conversions you want, it might be that your body copy isn't enticing people to click through and take action. Consider making your wording stronger. Your landing page. If your click-through rate is good but your sales are not, look at your landing page very closely. It could very well be that this is failing to sell. Try making adjustments here and see if you can increase your actual sales results once people land on your page from Facebook. There is no exact science behind crafting Facebook ads that sell. A lot depends on your product, service, or message. Your target audience can also play an extremely big role in what works and what doesn't. How much you're willing to spend can also influence success, but not as much as you think. Don't be skittish about experimenting and don't be afraid to change things mid-campaign if they don't seem to be working. Frequency for checking stats. How much or how little you should check your ad statistics depends a lot on the length of your campaign. You will want to give your ads some time to perform. If your campaign is set to last only two days, you might want to peek in and make tweaks every 6 to 12 hours. If your ads will run indefinitely, every few days should suffice. There's no need to check every hour on an open-ended venture, but you will want to make sure you keep up closely enough to spot declines if and when they occur. At this point, it might be necessary to make some edits to your existing ads to extend their effectiveness. Fortunately, Facebook does make it very easy to gain a good idea how ads respond over time. This will help you spot declines pretty quickly and show you whether tweaks you have made are working or not. Chapter 11. Get the most out of Facebook. Facebook presents a number of advantages for advertisers that standard platforms simply cannot compete with. On this site, advertisers can actually reach out and create relationships with their customers if they so choose. Try doing this on Google. You're not going to get very far. The social networking advantage is what really makes Facebook a potential powerhouse for advertisers. Learn how to make these free efforts dovetail with your advertising campaigns and the instant results and residual effects can really supercharge your marketing efforts. To get the most out of Facebook, advertisers will want to have their own accounts set up so they can create group pages and interact with their followers. It is also possible to use your initial Facebook page as your fan site of sorts. If you intend to promote a wide variety of products and different websites, however, you'll need to know how to make group pages for each effort. 
do not overlook the potential of the social aspect of Facebook and what it can do for your business. When you take advantage of this aspect, it can produce a number of benefits that can increase sales just as readily as paid advertising in some cases. Creating a group page. This is a fairly easy process to undertake once you have a Facebook account established for yourself or your business. There are a number of advantages to going ahead and making a group page or pages rather than using your specific Facebook account to attract friends and fans. They include easier management. Group pages enable a lot of hands-on management if you so choose. This can help you craft an online persona for your products or services with ease. Better targeting. If you are using a personal Facebook account to launch ads for affiliate marketing, for example, running your main account as your contact place for customers can become very confusing. Chances are you don't want your customers to see wall posts from your old high school buddies. Ability to promote multiple products more easily. When you just go ahead and use some group pages, you can do so for multiple products. This means if you have a website that sells video games and another that markets insurance products, you can keep them very separate on Facebook. The actual process of creating a group page is very simple. Like most aspects of Facebook, the interface will walk you through step by step. To create a group that members can join and become fans of, just go under your profile and look for groups in the left hand side of the screen. This will bring up the Groups page. Click on the Create a Group button to get started. Step 1. Filling out basic information. Once you're on the group page, just fill in the form and be as specific as possible about the purpose of the group. The first step in the process just calls for basic information such as the group name, description, type, recent news, and geographical information if applicable. Do bear in mind that groups may not attack a specific person or group of people. Step 2. Customize your group. Once your group is created, you'll want to set the permission levels for different features, such as writing on the wall, displaying events, and enabling photos and videos. The second step involves a lengthy form that will take you a few minutes to fill out. The most important field on this involves the access. You have three options. Open. This will enable anyone to join your group and invite others to do so. This particular choice can be especially beneficial for advertisers who wish to gain a big following. Closed. This option requires administrator approval for new members to join. It does, however, enable anyone to search for and see the group description. Secret. This choice will hide the group from searches and will only allow membership by invitation. This might work well for exclusive promotions, but overall it's probably not a good choice for advertisers. Step 3. Invite people. The last step involved in creating a group page is actually getting followers to join. Facebook enables you to invite all of your online friends, and you can also import email addresses, which is a great option if you have an email string going. You can also take steps to promote your group pages and increase their membership numbers. To do this, consider an approach that targets both Facebook and other venues. Tout your new group page by including it on your business websites by adding a line to your business cards and written correspondence, in your email signature block, in your other advertising campaigns, in your Facebook advertising. You can even launch a campaign to do just that. We'll go into more depth about cross-promoting your Facebook efforts shortly. There are some great ways to bring members to your page from the outside world. They can all benefit your business and your potential return on investment. Interacting with fans. Putting together a fan page to dovetail with your advertising efforts is the best way to take full advantage of the Facebook experience. A fan page will enable you to reach out and speak directly to your friends with information that can really supercharge your advertising efforts. What you do with a fan page and how much mileage you get out of it is completely up to you. Some of the ways you can use this page to generate more interest in your products or services include using it to promote sales. You can let your fans quickly and easily know about new promotions and sales by writing on your wall and directing them to your homepage. Using it to promote useful or important information. If you sell baby products, for example, you can use your fan page as a mini blog of sorts to keep your friends updated about news related not only to your products, but also babies in general, neat nutritional developments, general news related to the topic, and so on. 
using it to create a sense of community among your followers. If you really want to generate a back and forth open feeling among your fans, enable posting on your wall from members. Let them share their own news, bits of information, and praise or even constructive criticisms about your products. Even the negatives can benefit you greatly by boosting your credibility and making your product users know you truly want to hear what they have to say. Using it to create lasting relationships. When you create a fan page and use it to foster back and forth communications, you will discover that you are actually relationship building. This can result in a faithful clientele that sticks with you and your products. In turn, this sense of loyalty can develop into word of mouth advertising that will really help boost your sales. Using your page to generate a buzz. Entice your fans to invite other potential members by running special promotions. Give special discounts to Facebook fans. Consider a giveaway. Offer a link to a contest you're running. The more you use your fan page to create excitement about your products or services, the more likely it is your information will go viral. Building your credibility and the value of your ads. When your fan base grows, the credibility of your ads will rise along with this. Having a strong, growing, and loyal fan base can help you gain more auction wins, more exposure, and will help your business grow accordingly. Taking the time to interact with group members, add status updates, and read over comments is work, but it can pay off with big results. The more loyal of a following you create, the more likely it is your advertising efforts will pay off now and in the future. Plus, you might just gain the benefit of word-of-mouth advertising. Don't overlook the power this particular force can have on Facebook or any arena for that matter. The Power of Old-Fashioned Advertising what Facebook fan pages enable businesses to really do is take advantage of good old-fashioned word-of-mouth advertising. While Facebook is an online community, it is a community nonetheless. Think of your fans as your customers in the real world and the millions of other users they are connected to as potential customers. When you wow those you already serve, Facebook makes it very easy for those happy clients to share their pleasure with their own friends. Do be very mindful of the fact that Facebook can be a double-edged sword. If you don't live up to your advertising promises, keep your credibility high and foster relationships, that community atmosphere can come back to bite you. Your customers can just as easily share their displeasure with hundreds of others who know hundreds of others and so on. If you treat Facebook's social aspects with the respect they deserve and keep your reputation high, this site can pay off with incredible returns on your investment. While your social networking efforts might never replace the need to advertise, they can dovetail well and help you see the result you're after. Cross-promoting your Facebook efforts if you have created a Facebook account and a fan page to go along with your overall marketing strategy, you'll also want to promote your page to gain a greater following. Remember, announcements on your fan page about upcoming sales, giveaways, and big news cost you nothing to send out to your fan base. It behooves you to grow your base by as much as possible. There are many potential ways you can cross-promote your activity on Facebook with other off- and online efforts. To make sure your Facebook fan page gets the attention it deserves, consider including your membership status in all your advertising efforts elsewhere. Mention your Facebook affiliation in your television, radio, newspaper, billboard, and other commercials. You can also include fan page information in flyers, emails to clients, and so on. Putting a link to your fan page on your website. If you're looking into Facebook ads, you have a website to link to. Use this site to its full advantage by cross-linking it back to your Facebook fan page. This can help you gain a following on this site from your regular visitors in addition to those you connect with on Facebook. Linking Facebook to other accounts. If you also use Twitter, for example, you can easily link the two. Use Twitter, for example, to make quick updates to your Facebook fan page. In doing so, you may also get your Twitter followers to join you on Facebook. The two social sites are very different, but they play off each other quite well for advertisers' purposes. Including your Facebook information on your business cards. If you have cards, make sure to mention you're on Facebook. This is a great way to bring people online to hear what you have to say, even if they haven't been on Facebook before.
using your email string to your advantage. If your sales site has an active mailing string, use it to let members know they can now find you on Facebook. This is an excellent way to increase the power of your string. You can even use Facebook to cross promote to your email string and solicit new signups for direct mail pieces. The potential for cross promotions with Facebook is limited only by your imagination. Once you have a fan page up and running, make sure you announce it from the rooftops and keep on doing so. Why both efforts should combine. While it's true that either advertising or social networking efforts can work on their own rather well for Facebook advertisers, it is often best to combine the two. When social networking dovetails with advertising campaigns, both efforts can combine to drive more highly qualified traffic to the desired website, increase interest in the product or service, work together to create a viral effect, boost the credibility of the product, service, or advertiser in general. Essentially, advertising campaigns and social networking efforts can feed off each other and fuel greater overall success. This is good for advertisers and their potential to see a satisfactory return on investment. Chapter 12 About Affiliate Marketing Facebook, as we've said, can work very well for affiliate marketers. The site welcomes them and provides them with a forum to advertise and also connect more directly with their potential customers. There are a few things that affiliates may want to consider before diving in. Tips to make Facebook work best for affiliates include consider multiple niches. As it is with advertising any affiliate program, some work and some don't. Facebook advertising is the same in this regard. Some programs will take off and ads will produce fantastic results. Other products just might not capture user interest. Take care in targeting. Affiliate marketers are not always fully in tune with the niches their products appeal to. Take the time to research this aspect very well before trying to advertise a niche. Making landing pages that are professional. Steer clear of the 20,000 word sales letters as landing pages and opt for the actual, clean, professionally presented pages instead. While this doesn't mean you have to hire a professional designer, just keep pages visually attractive and make sure they present the pertinent information quickly and cleanly while trying to make the sale. Take the time to research the product's reputation. Affiliate programs abound on the internet. Some are reputable and some, frankly, are not. To enjoy any level of success with Facebook ads or affiliate marketing in general, it does pay to research a company's reputation. If the company only sells junk, you're going to gain that rep you're going to gain that reputation too. This can hurt your sales and your standing on Facebook. If the ads happen to promote a scam product or one that's banned by Facebook, you can find yourself banned too, even if you didn't know. Treat affiliate programs like they are your business. Even if you're only serving as an affiliate marketer, your efforts are your business. Put some pride and thought into every action you take. Facebook does provide a great opportunity for affiliate marketers, but they have to do their part as well. Take the time to promote this type of business right and ensure the products and or services offered are sound and Facebook can provide a tremendous stream of incoming customers to boost your affiliate marketing efforts. Chapter 13, A Few Parting Words Facebook ads are a relatively unexplored outlet for advertisers who want to reach an audience that is nearly endless. To take full advantage of the potential these ads have to offer, you need to plan your campaigns with care, adhere to the rules laid out by Facebook, and be willing to carefully tweak your efforts to gain maximum results. When you use Facebook to its full potential, you can save money on your advertising costs. Reach an audience that is estimated to be 400 million and growing. Target your efforts down to a specific city, age of viewer, and set niche interest if you so desire to produce highly qualified incoming traffic. Set bids that truly fit in with your budget and actually see results. Develop relationships with your customers through fan pages that enable you to reach out and directly communicate with them. Generate word of mouth advertising that can really supercharge your overall marketing efforts. Increase your return on investment. Gain the exposure you're after.
When Facebook is your desired advertising platform, the potential is virtually endless. Follow this site's rules and take the time to gauge what works with your ads and what doesn't. Make necessary adjustments along the way and exercise a little patience. Once you learn how to harness the power Facebook has to offer, your click-through rate is likely to go through the roof and put Google to shame in the process. Remember, there is no set formula for making Facebook pay off for any particular niche or demographic. Sometimes it will take a little trial and error to see the results you're after. Since this arena is largely unexplored, it offers you a world of potential to advertise your products, services, or causes no matter what they are.